Hello all, welcome to the Network Pen Testing course at Pen Tester Academy. Now we are continuing with Pen Testing Windows Endpoints and in the previous video we had looked at a case uh, in which HTTP and HTTPS outbound were open, everything else was closed. Now what if uh, the Enterprise Network Admin uh, is really trying to be clever and he's probably not running you know 8443 he's probably running services on totally different ports which could be web or anything else so what can we do if during a pen test we have no clue about what is the outbound sorry outbound open port composure of the network or host based firewall now the only option would be a payload which can systematically go ahead and try each and every port beginning from 1 to 65,535 and try and connect back to the attacker. Now the good news is that such a payload is available and the name of the payload is Windows Metapreter Reverse underscore TCP underscore all ports right so how do we simulate this so what we are going to do is we are going to block a whole range of ports and then have our payload systematically try each and every one of them and finally let's see if it can get to the attacker now as you're probably already thinking on the attacker side given that we have no clue what is the outbound port allowed how would we go ahead and be able to receive the payloads connection? Now this is where we need to go ahead and do a little bit of IP tables magic and ensure that all ports within the given range where we expect the payload to connect back to us, we go ahead and actually redirect to our one single port on which our payload handler is listening. So let's run through each of these steps. Now the first set is actually to go ahead and create the firewall rule set. So let me create new rule. I'm going to say port and I'm going to give a range 44442 let's see what we have so we can match the slides 6609 sorry 6009 so this whole range of ports is something we are going to block entirely right let's say this is a called blocked range of ports right so we applied this now let's actually go ahead and create our payload So let's look at all the options which we need to give our all ports payload. Okay. We need to give L host. Fair enough. Let's actually put these in. L host is the host to connect back to. It's going to be 192.168.1.13, which is the attacker's machine. And L port, it says current setting is one, the starting port number to connect back on. Now with this setting, it'll start from one and try all the way to 65,535, right? Uh, which of course is going to take a long time. I'm going to bring down the subset and tell it to start at L port equals 4444, right? Now, if you remember on our firewall, the range of ports blocked began from 4444 and ends in 6009, right? Keep this in mind. So now let me create the binary. There we go. 
and as the binary is being built let me go ahead and add the IP tables rule set so what I have really done is first flushed all existing entries and then I have gone ahead and created a rule which ensures that whenever any incoming connection comes for the port range 4444 to 6010 we go ahead and ensure that we send it to port 4444 bound on 192.168.1.13 right now as you can imagine the firewall rule set was extending from 4444 to 6009 which means as soon as the payload tries 6010 it will be able to connect through the firewall and hopefully connect back to our payload we will see what happens let's check this fair enough looks good let's start our python server oops and let's go back to metasploit and set up our payload handler in this case l port needs to be set to 4444 go back in here and hit exploit to have our handler wait now we go to our windows machine go to internet explorer refresh refresh again we find reverse underscore all save it go back in here reverse underscore all let's run it and we see that we have a connection back and we have a metapreter session fantastic go back in here we can even run command prompt to a netstat hyphen an and you can clearly see this little entry in here which says 192.168.1.7 port 49630 is connected to 192.168.1.13 port 6010 right this was the port on which we were expecting Giving, given our firewall rule set uh, which we had created right if you remember the firewall rule set was 4444 to 6009 which means our payload tried all combinations in between and when it finally tried port 6010 it managed to go through the firewall and connect back to the attacker machine uh, simply because we were ensuring that port 6010 goes ahead and really uh, the packet when it kind of comes in goes to port 4444 on our machine right and there you go so you've seen how beautiful uh, this specific payload is in going ahead and figuring out the firewall rule set and then going through that port to connect back to the attacker of course on a live system you can make the IP tables rules even more powerful if you have some clue about the IP address from where you expect the connection to come from and all of that so try this example out if you're curious about how this works try out this link uh, which explains pretty much how to forward all external ports to one local port and of course the link talks about all I've just taken a small subset so if you're enjoying your time at Pentester Academy we would really appreciate if you can recommend us to your friends and colleagues in the infosec community I'm hoping all of these videos have been you know fun for you similar to as you know happy and you know as much enjoyment as it gives me to make them that's all for this video thank you